Hello and welcome to the 5 Minute Sound Designer, where I'll show you a cool new sound design tool, technique, or tip in about 5 minutes or less. So in this video, I want to show you how you can very quickly and easily make horror or sci-fi sorts of ambiences for your games. So it's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it uses some common techniques that I've used before. And the source material that you're going to want for this sort of effect are machines. So what I like to do is record things like freezers to get this sort of effect. You can also go out and record construction equipment or an electric toothbrush, anything that has a constant drone to it, essentially. So this is a freezer sound that a friend and I recorded. I actually used a stethoscope microphone to record this, but here's the sound, unaffected. So just a freezer being a freezer. So it is that low sort of drone that happens when you leave it open for a bit too long. That's all that is. So we're going to turn this into an ambience, some sort of horrific, unsettling ambience. And of course, the first thing that I like to do when I want something to sound unsettling is pitch shift it. So this is the pitch shifter in Logic. You can use any pitch shifter you want. I have this pitch down seven semitones and have the mix set to 100%, meaning we hear nothing but the pitch shifted signal. So let's take a listen to it now with the pitch shifting on. I'll turn it off to compare. All right, it already sounds kind of spaceshipy or inside a machine sort of thing, so we're already getting closer. The next thing is I added reverb, and this is my favorite reverb. You can use any reverb you want. This is Audio Damage's EOS reverb. It's fantastic. But again, you can use whatever you want. Set up to 100% mix, very simple. Pre-delay set to default. The decay is about three seconds, just short of three seconds, and the size is 6.8 meters. But you can play around with this, see what works for your specific situation. So let's take a listen. Now I'll play it without reverb. So it's already getting more unsettling, which is great. That's what we want. Now this reverb and all other reverbs have kind of different sounds to them. So play around and find one that you really like for each context. Lastly, you can probably hear that there's quite a lot of weird sounds in here. There's some high frequency hiss. There's maybe too much low end. So what I did last is turn on an equalizer. So the curve I set up here is pretty weird and I'd probably play around with this a little longer for an actual sound that I'm making. But what I essentially did was get rid of a lot of the low end, get rid of some of that unpleasant bass that might get in the way of other frequencies in a game. Boost the mids here just a teensy tiny bit and get rid of a lot of the highs so that we get rid of some of that high frequency hiss. So let's take a listen with the EQ on now. Now I'll turn the EQ off. So now it sounds like some sort of spooky cave wind ambience thing. And I would only use this as a layer. So I'd layer other sounds on top of this, of course. This wouldn't be the only sound that I do. But this is a great place to start. And it did cut out, I think, just a bit too much of the low frequency. But I do like cutting out a good chunk of the low frequency so that that bass doesn't interfere with all the other stuff that's going on in a game or movie or whatever project you're working on. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, of course, leave the thumbs up and subscribe because I make a video every single week on either working in the game industry, having an awesome career in it, and or working in sound design. And more videos to come every single week without fail. So please subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And of course, sign up for my newsletter. That's where I give away my best advice for those of you who want a career in the game industry, regardless of your discipline, art, audio, whatever it may be, especially if you want to freelance, 
that's where I give out all the best stuff. So sign up for my newsletter in the description below or on the annotation here or in the card. Give you lots of spots to do that. And lastly, watch my TED Talk on video game music. I gave a TED Talk to a room full of thousands of people about the power of video game music. So you can check that out in the description below or the annotation or again, the card and all that YouTube stuff. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.